Hey, this is Politics with Laura to where everything is politics. Whether if it's here locally in the U.S. or if it's international, you will get the true news because I use newspapers from around the world. Politicians here or politicians over there or if there's a war here or a war over there, I would make sure that you know about it. Hey, 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 I got a good one for you. Mm. Okay, Haiti. Haiti has been a country that has been exploited more times than, okay, I'm not going to say that. I'm going to leave that one out. But Haiti has been exploited by so many different countries to the point to where now stuff like this is starting to occur. Yes. And it's not what you think. You think that Haiti's being run by gangs. Okay. Yeah. But not what you think. Now, Haiti has an interesting history, which I'm not going to get into. I'm not going to go down that road. I'm going to stand, let's talk about what's going on right now. This level of destabilization has a lot to do with the United States, the Democratic Party, and specifically, specifically, Hillary and Bill Clinton. This is your handiwork right here. Are you proud of yourselves? Now, uh, Joe Biden just recently sent uh, the military into Haiti. And let's take a look at why. Let's take a look at why. All right. San Juan, Puerto Rico. You're like, what does San Juan have to do with Haiti? A standoff between a powerful gang federation and the Haitian government is testing how much power both sides have, both sides wheeling, wield and threaten, threatening uh, to further derail the par- uh, the par- derail a paralyzed country where millions of people are struggling to find fuel and water. A former police officer who led the gang alliance known as G6 and family has proposed his own plan for Haitians, Haiti's future, even seeking seats from the cabinet while demanding that the administration of Parliament Minister Ariel Henry grant amnesty to avoid arrest warrants against the group's members, a demand that so far has gone unanswered. In mid-September, the gang surrounded a key fuel terminal to demand Henry's, uh, Henry's resignation and to protest a spike in petroleum prices after the Prime Minister announced that his administration could no longer afford subsidized fuel. That moment, coupled with thousands of protesters who have blocked streets in the capital, Puerto Prince, Port Au Prince, of the major cities, has caused change, has caused major shortages in forcing hospitals to cut back on services, gas stations to close the banks and grocery stores to restrict hours. Mm. In recent videos posted on Facebook, G9 and family mem- uh, and family leader Jimmy Shizure uh, or Shiz- has uh, who goes by the name Barbecue read a proposed plan to stabilize Haiti that includes the recreation or the creation of the Council of Sages. Hmm, that's interesting. With one representative from each Haitian 10 departments. Okay. The gang is also demanding position in Henry's cabinet, according to the director of Haiti's national disarmament, dismantling and reintegrating commissions. 
speaking to radio stations at Magic 9 on Thursday. It's a, it is a symptom of the power, of their power, but also a symptom that they may fear what's coming. Robert Fat, uh, uh, Faton, a Haitian po uh, politi politics expert at the University of Virginia, said that the gangs demands Henry uh, and 18 members of the cabinet appeal uh, nearly a week ago for the deployment of foreign troops to quell violence and to end the fuel blockade. A proposal that has yet to be formally discussed by the United Nations Security Council, which meets on Monday. I don't know what the United Security Council has anything to do with what's going on in Haiti unless if they're perpetuating it, but that's for another video. The gang, which has overpowered and understaffed and under-resourced police department, is likely wary of the political deployment of the specialized armed troops, Phantom said, AKA United States going in. They are trying to get the best deal they can uh, get while to some extent that they have the upper hand. Very true. Uh, gangs, the gang demands are nothing new in Haiti and that they have grown more powerful since July 2021 assassination of Joviel Moise. And I wonder how much the United States has to do with that right there. I don't know. I just think that whenever something wild goes on around the world that the United States and the criminals in action have something to do with it. Wherever there's instability, there's normally some United States official or government employee doing something or some kind of American mercenary or backed. I don't know. I just have to help. I don't know. But which threats were quickly quelled in the past with the help of the UN peacekeeping forces, Fanson said. In the aftermath of the rebellion, that ousted the former Haitian president, Jean Bertrand Aristide, the president, Rene Preval, ordered gangs to lay down their weapons. He did peace, um, he did it peacefully at first, but upon receiving no results, he, he threatened them. Um, well, let me see, do I wanna continue? The gangs have played major political roles before. And, and, and I don't even want to call them gangs. I think the right there is just uh, the wrong, not call them gangs. These, these people right here, they were forced into a position due to European powers that have a vested interest in Haiti being in total collapse. If Haiti can't rise, if Haiti rises, then it then it just spoils their plan. Haiti has uh, a lot of natural resources that um, uh, some companies in Canada are, are benefiting from. Uh, countries, uh, European countries are benefiting from, and France is bene bene benefiting from. Everyone's benefiting from the resources, but Haiti, and now they can, and now they're at the point to where look, we got nothing else to lose. Let's just go all for it. And these are the people, not gangs. They are people that band together that are tired of this foolishness, and this is what you get. Thank you, Bill and Hillary Clinton, for going down there destabilizing this country. I hope you're happy of your handiwork. And yeah, I'm be I'm be I'm being funky about it. Yes, I am. Oh, oh, what a web you weave. <laughs> okay, what are your thoughts? Do you think you're like Laura, you're just being 
You're just being totally critical of the United States. Why don't you be nice to the United States? Well, why doesn't the United States be nice to people? Yep. Okay, tell me what you think. I want to thank you for stopping by because you could be anywhere, but you decide to stay here with me and listen to my video because politics runs the world. Now, whether if you agree with the politics or not, put something down in the comment section. Whether, whether if you agree or disagree with me, that is okay. We can agree to disagree or we can agree to agree. So please help me get to 500 subscribers and then help me get to a thousand subscribers. And thank you for stopping by.